that's the baby fever. Nah, nah, too early. That's Let's the, no wheel it back. <laughs> Welcome, you're now locked into another episode of Decentive Podcast hosted by yours truly, Mila and Sophia. And yours too. Yes, I will miss out all the pleasantries. Um, There's no point of saying sorry, there's no point no, of saying that we're we inconsistent. Do is you what take is what you get from us is what is. but yeah so we're gonna start with a fun fact and a riddle uh my fun fact is that africa is the only continent in all four hemispheres yeah okay uh my reader from last episode was i speak with our mouth and hear with our ears i have no body and i come out alive with wind what am i an echo. Mm. And then this ep- riddle for this episode is, you have me today, tomorrow you have more. As your time passes, I'm not easy to store. I don't take up space, but I'm only in one place. I am what you saw, but not what you see. What am I? You already know what to do. Send in your answers via Insta or even leave a comment on the channel and we'll get back to you and let you know. But yeah. Yeah. What's new? It's been a while. Mm. It's been a while. What's new? Let's catch them up. Nothing really. We went on holiday. Yeah. Went to Thailand. Mm. Um, that's about it. Yeah. I don't think there's anything. In two months, you know. Because <laughs> I was thinking, I was looking back at our last video before we uh, before we came to record it, and I was like, oh. All right, it's been two months already. It felt like just yesterday. Exactly. Yeah, it exactly. Said in my head, I was thinking it's just a month, not too bad. Checked it, it said two months. I said no way, it's been two months, but it's been two months because no, we did. We last did one something. we did was before my birthday in July. Yeah, and then the, the order just didn't come out too right, so I've been struggling with that. But yeah, we'll get some. But there. if you actually follow us on Insta, we post a lot quite often, and we post a lot of our holiday content. Like we won't post it on youtube or whatever like we literally post quite a lot of our holiday content on insta so that literally if you are on our insta we basically took you on thailand with us basically, basically. you you went on the trip of us you did not miss nothing whatever we saw we posted whatever you saw is what we were doing literally there was nothing different about that but yeah yeah oh you had something it's on my phone i don't know <laughs> you put in the notes in it i got you he got you main What's one small thing you find satisfying? Um, like you do it, but you don't. Uh, you take it for granted in a way, but it's quite satisfying in a way as well. few moments later I actually can't think right now what's the small thing you find satisfying uh, I say walks mm. I say walks I say catching sunset and sunrise randomly like when I don't expect to or when I've not gone out looking for it like I got the ferry like I think two three days ago and I was on the sunset and I thought this is absolutely amazing so little things like that um I find baby videos quite satisfying on baby videos. I don't know why. They've been coming up recently on my thing and I just find it absolutely adorable. That's the, that's the mother I knew. And I'm just like, creeping yeah. out. That's the baby fever. Nah, nah, too early. <laughs> Let's the, no wheel it back. Too. Wheel yes, it back. You nah, can have baby even. fever and not... Nah, yeah, I don't, I don't think. Not fever. yet, not yet. But I was just like, a lot of recently, like um, a lot of my Insta stuff is like all babies and stuff out of nowhere. And I was like, okay. But yeah. Insta shows you what? Insta don't show nothing. Insta knows exactly what you're thinking. No, Insta don't know nada. Insta knows exactly what you're thinking. Because <laughs> I usually when think... We, when, we were going to chat, when we were going to Thailand, yeah, all of a sudden Insta is telling us things to do in Thailand. Is, but I feel like we were speaking about it. So it's like pick a fruit. I've not been speaking about no baby. That's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm telling you. Insta knows. I've not been Your speaking phone about... Your knows. Yeah, they need to find me my husband first. Let's one step at a time. Let's it's not true, jump pages. It's true, it's true. <laughs> so once Insta, the... Insta should start showing your husband before he start showing you the baby. Because why are we missing steps? <laughs> why are we missing steps? <laughs> exactly. 100%. But um, yeah, I think little things like that. Uh, What else do I find satisfying? That's little... I say knowing that one of my kids learned something. Learned something? Yeah. How so? Like, if we're in lesson and I've 
talk something and you can come back to me and like, so we're doing defense. So it's meant to be box out rebound. But when I called it out, so I already told them box out rebound, but when I called it out, they were doing foot fire drill. But when I called it out, I put my hand up, they meant to box out rebound. But I called it and I said, when I put my hand up, you said rebound box out. But I got corrected. But miss, you said this box out mm. first. So it's like they're paying attention. So I'm not just speaking for speaking's sake. So little things like, I was like, yeah, 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 you're right. And I gave him a praise card because like mm. you were paying attention. Mm-hmm. I even got it wrong. So that kind of little things are quite satisfying. No, that's, that's actually quite cute. Yeah. That's actually very cute. But yeah, things like that, to be honest. I was, I was thinking a lot of smaller things like getting home and taking off your bra. Getting in my bed. Oh my God. <laughs> that's, not what I, that's not what I was thinking. No, but getting in my bed, especially when like, it's not I've had a tired day, but I look forward to getting into my bed. No, my mind is like getting home and like, I think what I, the reason why I put this down is I remember there was one day I left the house and I left some dishes in the sink. Um, and I had some food in, in the fridge that I wanted to cook. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, oh, okay, cool. When I get home, I'm now going to have to do this. Yeah. And I'm, so I was planning my days. I'm going to get home. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the food, get in the food ready. La, 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 la. Mm-hmm. Then when I get home, I saw the dishes were, were washed and my sister had started on the food. So I was just like, ah. thank you. <laughs> so like- you see, you see the moments where like, although I still plan to have to do this on, after yeah. my work day mm. to come home and knowing that it's, it's done, done yeah. and not ha- not needing to ask it's just done out of someone's mm. kindness like you didn't have to do it because yeah. I was going to do it anyway mm. it's like those are the things that satisfy me maybe because my love language is act of service so I yeah. like the fact that although I do a lot for others just the small things done for me even if I don't ask it's just like this is nice she's paying attention this basically. is nice this is nice and it's and it's those those are the things that I find most satisfying like mm. when you're when you're when, you, when you're gonna do something or you've got something on your list to do and then it gets done by someone else or someone helps you that's something I get that's satisfying then you've got the small things um yeah you stay with your mom, you stay with your dad, your sisters, or you like your boyfriend, whatever. Do you expect them to kind of cater to your love language? Not expect, but like expect, but not expect at the same time. Um. No, I wouldn't say I expect it because um, no one is expected to do anything. Mm-hmm. But it's like I feel like when it's done, it's very appreciative. Well, on my end, I'm yeah. very appreciative. If I've put it out there that this is like the things that I like, and this is what really brings me satisfaction, and um, and you put in work to do it, then it's appreciated. But I wouldn't say I expect it too much. To a certain extent, I think as much as you want to say you don't expect anyone, you anything can't from help anyone, it. yeah. But when it's someone you truly love or someone who's close to you, and you've just built something with them, friendship wise, family, anyone, mm-hmm. you're like to a certain expect to a certain extent. It's like you. I'm hoping you put in a little bit of work to yeah. see me happy like or you're to make paying me happy. Attention kind of thing, yeah. So it's like I'm not saying you have to do it because in life you don't have to do anything. Um, um, really and truly have your own free will but when you love someone you care for someone you're going to do things that you know they they like they love mm-hmm, or mm-hmm. they're going to bring it's going to bring them some happiness so mm. yeah so to a certain extent I don't and I yeah that's what I said expect but not really expect because you kind of don't expect it but if it comes it's like mm. I take like, it like, like <laughs> it should come but, but obviously if it doesn't come then it's it come. is what is and, I, and I'm not gonna beg you to do it either yeah yeah after a while it's like um it should kind of come naturally and then if it doesn't maybe it's just mm, a situation where it's not the best because I think everyone deserves to have that little something that you know makes you happy given to you by anyone mm. if okay. you call them if you were told you weren't meeting <laughs> let's say this carefully so I'm going to use tired and stuff but if he said to you no wrong person Carolina if she said to you you're not meeting her love language would you take her seriously mm-hmm. and no, how genuinely. would you approach it I'll yeah. ask what so, so what do you expect from me okay why would you take her seriously why would I yeah because that's, that's my sister okay. I'll take anyone within that branch that I hold up high um 
serious if they told me that I don't think you're loving me the way I would want to be loved. Okay, now, <laughs> beep this person in my Would you take someone like, I want to use someone that isn't, like, I don't want to have to give you work to kind of cut out, but... I can cut out. Okay. Would you take someone's love language seriously? Um... Because they're two different relationships, but like... Yes. She isn't really an acquaintance, but she isn't really the closest either, but yes. she's a friend. She's not someone you talk to every day, but when you see each other, the relationship is there. The, that kind I, of brunch. I feel like I would. Mm-hmm. Um, but I wouldn't want it to be just um, one way type situation. Okay. So if you, if she was to tell me saying like, uh, we're very good friends. I feel like we have some of understanding exactly and maybe she's putting in work to build up the friendship again Back, yeah but i'm just brushing it off or i've taken it a bit for granted well i'm not, not doing what it, yeah. she's expecting of me and she turned around and say i feel like we can continue if, if this if it's a friendship you want to build mm-hmm. you and I'm, I'm expecting this from you i want this from you and if she's tell me this i'd be like you know what cool i, I feel like this is a friendship i would want to put work in i'll do it so who's coming to you with you're not meeting my love language and you're dismissing. Um, I want to say I'll dismiss not, Maybe dismiss is a strong word, but, but brush off. It, I don't know. I feel like for you to go to someone and say, this is my love language and I need it met, you should know that that person's going to take <laughs> you serious. I don't, know. don't, I don't like come to me with it's that. Reading, it's reading the room and understanding the relationship you have with the person. If you don't really have a relationship or mm, friendship, mm, whatever, mm. and you're going to ask him, this is my love language, this should be met. Yeah, Do but it's like... You from? Okay, let me give you a better example. If someone like love language is physical touch, but you're not with her all the time for you to meet that. Yeah. So if she was to pull you up on it, how would you then approach that? Uh, I'll just ask I don't know this is my point no I, I, I don't know I don't know about that comparison because it's it's more so in a situation of if that's your love language um okay let me use a different one let's then, say then, act of service whenever I'm with you I try and do some sort of act of service and if you don't think I'm doing it say, what, what's your example of act of service okay what could I be doing to meet that and if I feel like I could do it then I'll do it if I can't I'll say respectfully then I can't do it <laughs> I hear it. Fair enough. Fair this, enough. This is an honest conversation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You kind of have to. <laughs> Interesting. But how serious do you take that? That what meeting your depends on who you are. Language. It depends on who you are. Like if it's uh in my circle, I even before I ask you, I try to figure it out myself. I kind of mm. like see what you like and what you don't like. What you the way you react to certain mm-hmm, things, the mm-hmm, way you mm-hmm. don't react to certain things, like I can get you something now and you say thank you, but I can go take your car out and wash your car and it's a bigger smile than mm-hmm, the thank you. Mm-hmm, Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So like then I know, okay, me buy gifts given isn't one of yours or one of the top one, whereas the little thing like getting your car washed for you was a bit bigger so to me it depends on who you are as much as i shouldn't do this but you can't come to me about your love language if i don't expect you to meet mine mm, mm. in the oh, if like, you're not ex- if, if you're not sorry mine. if you're not meeting mine no if i like if you come to me and you're like uh um i don't think you're meeting my love language if i don't really care for you to meet mm-hmm, mine mm-hmm. i can't lie to you i'll take it in but I don't know if I'll change or try and make a change towards it. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like, if you're coming to me like, oh, I'll tell you, um, I'd prefer if you do this or prefer if you do that. Depending on who you are, I hear you out. We can have the conversation. We can move on. But if it's somewhere in the nicest way ever, I love you to bits. But to me, in this relationship, I'm already doing what I can mm-hmm. that I think is enough mm-hmm, already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm already getting pushed to my limit. <laughs> yeah. So you you're asking for more? Because, oh my god! So if you don't come to me and they're like, "Uh, you're not me," 
<laughs> don't finish You're it. You're lucky to what I'm giving you. <laughs> don't finish it. Feel but lucky I will, I I will like, in the moment, I won't make you feel some type of way. We'll talk about it. Like, we'll always talk about it. But I can't guarantee, this is growth. Like, I'm going to try, but I can't guarantee I will make an effort, especially if you're not someone I intend to be around or I come path quite often or whatever. Like, we might be working in a relationship, but if you're just not in my circle, I can't do it. I can't do it. I just can't do like I can't I can try, but I can't guarantee mm. anything mm. will change because have you ever had a conversation with someone? Yeah. I mean <laughs> Yeah. As in someone's approached you and yeah. said What did they say? Yeah. We can't talk about it. Why? <laughs> we can't talk about it. Damn. <laughs> it's too fresh, we can't talk about it. Is you it? You know about it, because I told you. No, you didn't. Yes I did. We we had a full blown out conversation about it. That someone's come to you and said that you're not meeting their love language. We have a full. We had a full. Uh, no, we didn't. We had uh, a no, full. No, we didn't. It went with me. I promised you it was with you. I you come out when I tell you off. We come out the shower. You come out the shower. You sat, and then I told you like, this is what it is. Da, da. Oh, but I don't remember you talking about love language. It was love language. First, yeah. And, and they came to you specifically and yeah said, You're it was it was more we we're just having generic conversation and i just kind of asked and i oh. were having the conversation i didn't ask if i was meeting it i just said what's your love language oh and but has someone come said to you you're not meeting my love language i practically practically did didn't it practically yeah because it was more like we were speaking generically like no specific <laughs> and are you currently meeting their love language <laughs> absolutely not why not it's because it's not one I can genuinely meet. Mm. Like, do you know what I'm saying? If you if it was like gift giving, I'll send something to your address because mm-hmm. I know it's gonna put a smile. Mm-hmm. But if it's something that I know, okay. So the thing is, for me to meet an example, act or service, I have to be around you quite often or speak to you quite often to know what the little acts of service could do and what kind of acts of service mm-hmm. I can do for mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. I can't like. Me, how do I say this? Like, I can't do stuff that I don't think... What I would do will probably not be what you're thinking is acts of service to you. Mm-hmm. But if I've been around you and I do something that I know I've seen with you and I know you just appreciate, I know you're going to take okay, it into yeah, consideration enough, more. So, like, if... You, for example, so there was a time I ordered something to mine. It came to mine. I meant to give it to you. I'm traveling with whoever's traveling. And we were like, okay, cool. Let's meet her halfway because you coming all the way to mine to collect where it was was long. We met on the f- underneath the ferry. Mm-hmm. So there's little things like that. It took me nothing, but because I know you'd appreciate it and it stops you from coming all the way around, yeah. Yeah. I'll meet you. So it's little things like that. But then I can't do that with someone I'm not around 24 mm-hmm. 7. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Ge- I genuinely can't meet it. So I just say, okay, okay, we don't go anywhere from here. <laughs> Well, you can ask, like, what can I do? No, 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 because I can't, because I know... You where, can. No, because I know whatever you tell me, I'm still not going to... You don't know that. No, no, I know myself. No, know I'm that. not saying whatever, like, I know whatever you tell me, I'm not going to probably try as much, because our relationship is our relationship. Do you get what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. randomly, I was speaking, we were speaking, like, some off topic, sorry, we were speaking to someone, and I was like, someone was like, how would you feel if you and Milan stopped talking? I said, that's different, because we talk every day so like we would probably go on holiday come back we still talk every day or at most we go two three days but we're still talking and we're still Somewhere. it's different compared to someone let's say jj i don't talk to jj every day okay cool if we stop talking i'll probably every now and then i care but i don't think i'll care as to as much as i care to you because mm-hmm. that relationship standards is different mm-hmm. do you know what i'm saying so it's more of a film where i don't care enough in that way because you're not in my life as much as you think you are we might talk, we might see each other once a year, but you're not in my life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you're like, mm-hmm. you're not in my circle. I wouldn't put you in my bridal shower team. That's how deep it is. That kind of thing. So I don't care enough to want to impact or fear. If you, if you came to me and told me otherwise, because I'm with you a lot without even being, we train together, we're talking, we're doing little things. It's just, I'm constantly with you. At most, we're back in season now. Probably won't go a week without seeing you. This is what I'm saying. So it's a thing where 
I would have to try and meet it. Mm-hmm. Like, I would, okay, cool. I hear where you're coming from. I would have to try. I won't go and do something drastic just to be like that. I would have to try and meet it, but naturally, mm-hmm. it won't be like a me. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm saying. For me to go and meet that service, it won't be natural. You, you see, you see, as you said that, that is such an, that's such a fair point because it's, if when someone comes to you and says like, I don't think I'm getting this from you. Mm. I always feel like if I start doing it, it feels forced. This is my point. <laughs> because like, it feels forced. Like, don't get me wrong. No, like, you're like, as like physical as you, touch. No, as soon as you, don't touch me. <laughs> but if you, as soon as you've told me, like, Milan, I need this from you. Or not not a need, but I would really appreciate if, if you, you did more. Or yeah. you don't do enough of yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I'm thinking... God damn. No, not even God damn. It's like, I want to do this for you now. Like, I, I want it to. Doesn't, it feels, when do I start? Yeah. And it has At to, what level do I start? What I'm How much do I give? Do I give a little bit and then go mm. and then move on? Do you, I just you're just overthink your things. Yeah. So, but it just feels like when I start doing it, it feels forced. Because we've just had a conversation. So now... I don't know if you're taking it as I'm doing it because I genuinely want to or I'm doing it just because you've said it so yeah, I'm just doing it. This is my point. So <laughs> if so I was to awkward. do something, it has to be natural. It has to I, be. I can't like, you can't come tell me your um, love language is act of service and all of a sudden, but let, let me go to, it's not happening. I'm sorry. No, I'm, not taking, it. I'm not doing it. No, but it. I'm not doing it. No, but it. I'm not taking your car for a car wash. No, but I'm, not, it. I'm not going that way. My piece is over there. I would have to start no, with the it. little thing. No, no, no. But the, Leave me a little piece. It's that little me. No. It's never forced. It's just it. <laughs> no, but it'd be like a little thing. I have, I would have to start with little things. I can't. You can't tell me. Oh, I would really like some more physical touch. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying it's like mm-hmm. let's not mm-hmm. do too much and I don't want to feel like I'm doing too much because then mm-hmm. you're going to start questioning is it because I is said this to you yeah. are you just doing this so I can keep quiet but I think how long will it last yeah yeah but I feel like that's when you have to differentiate and understand that if I've if I've come to you have said something and the relationship I hold with you I know that whatever you're going to do it's not just because you're feeling forced because you actually have genuine love for me and you're actually going to want to do it so I need to take that thought of she's probably just doing it because I've said it and then change the thought to you know Tiwa's got love for me so she's going to do it to make me happy and I'm thinking when you actually start speaking, thinking a bit more positive the actions of those around it. you don't seem so um, ingenuine it seems like it comes from the heart mm, I get what you're saying but in that aspect of things you're thinking, is it forced? I'm thinking, am I doing too much? Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. like, it's mm-hmm. both parties. It's never mm-hmm. that one party. And then it's a film where, okay, cool. If I then go and start doing this and then two, three months abruptly, it stops. Yeah. Where do you get from here? Yeah, but that's, that's when, I, that's when I'll come to you and be like, oh, I can think, no, nah, those two months was just to keep me quiet. <laughs> you get, but then that's well, bad on your part. Then yeah, I'm like, I you know but what? then it's like, where do we go from here? Cause I just have to tell you, I'm not. I'm not. One thing I'm not gonna do is beg you. Yeah. Uh, in this life, <laughs> in this life, I've begged plenty in my life. If it's not for money, please, I've I'm not begging. Plenty in my life. If it's not for money, or the will, of or, or, or the the mercy of God, I'm not begging. Listen, I'm not begging. Listen. And if I feel like, if I feel like I have to beg you to continue to do something, after a while, it's it's either I shut down a little bit, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Take a and step it's back. just yeah, and it's just like you know what, cool. I still have love for you regardless. It's not the end of the world as much as she's got this to a certain extent from this we're gonna go like this yeah it, put a bit of distance in it but and that's, and that's when I that. just have to step back and just be like you know what um let me just do my own thing mm-hmm. do you get mm-hmm. I've asked you you clearly ain't trying to hear me out too tough you put in work for the first two months like you said <laughs> and, and then all of a sudden it. you're done yeah I'm not trying to hear it I'm not yeah. trying to hear it because more so it'll be, it'll be like if it was the other way around and you had to ask me to do something I would put my all in trying to make sure yeah, that I'm doing it. It takes a lot of energy, or, though. Well, hundred percent. But that's yeah. But, but you if, can't if it's worth keep a hair it, but you can't keep doing that for so long. Yes, you can. No, you can't. I'm, like I said, I'm not asking you to go and drive me everywhere or to go and come to my house and clean my room every other week I'm not asking for something big I'm asking if I've told you if I've come to you and I've said something it's because you're not doing anything <laughs> yeah yeah I hear you I hear it's it, not I hear because it. you're doing something mm-hmm. and I'm unappreciative it's because yeah, you're, you're doing, not doing nothing. nothing yeah yeah if I'm literally if I'm having to have that conversation you're not doing anything yeah nah so I'm going to need you to do a little bit more. And like I said, I'm not asking for the world. Mm-hmm. You can't give me the world. Yeah, God yeah. Give, I already have God giving me the world. Yeah, I don't need yeah. you to. 
but I just need a small little things. And if I'm, I don't think it's wrong for anyone to ask from someone they feel like, you know, they have, they are able to give it to you. Mm, I hear it. I hear it. And then if you feel like, you know, what, Milan, this is as much as I can give. Fine, mm, take it. As long as it's consistent, fine. Mm. We, we come to mid. We come, this life is about compromises. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you tell me this. Is this okay? This is as much as I can give. You know what? More than nothing. <laughs> it's, better. <laughs> it's better than nothing. So I'm going to take it. And if, I've, and if I still feel like that's not enough, then that's my own prerogative to feel like maybe just to say this ain't working. Maybe I'm going to have to find this somewhere else. Mm. But again, they will say, you know, grass ain't always green on the other on the side. side yeah. is that, it's green the way you water it. Please, 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 please. So I have to water you it on this side, isn't yeah. it? Hey, CBA is, anyway, <laughs> CBA to go try and build something <laughs> else for someone else. You know, I'm, I'd rather cut what I have and be fine alone than to try and... No, honestly. No, because I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, as I'm getting older, I'm realising, like, even though it's not nice... I don't mind letting go of friendship or relationship mm. with people, mm. not in like a bad way, just more so it's just easier. And just because I let go of one don't mean I want to go build another one. And I'm just like, sometimes mm. it's just what it's meant to be. Mm. Yeah. 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 Cause, and especially if you're growing in different path or you're yeah. going different journey, yeah. it's just what it is. So yeah. And, but, and to me, it all depends on how much work I put in. Yeah. I feel like I've put in and I've tried. And it just isn't going anywhere. Mm. Then it just isn't going anywhere. You know, sometimes I don't even try. It's just not meant see, to be. See, that's the problem. It's just not meant to no, be. No, but you don't know if you don't try. No, no, it's just not. Because no, you, you kind of see, you, you see it from, you see it from early and it's just like, it's not meant to be. Mm. Sometimes the effort is already being drained out without you knowing that when mm. is that time and it's just like, I don't think I want to do this. So it's just a bit like, yeah, it's not meant to be. Mm, fair, yeah. But yeah, man. I feel like people to learn to cater to people's love language that are close to you ask the question <laughs> what have you seen ask this week no I'm, I'm, I'm saying no, no, oh, ask was, the question no, no I'm, I'm saying as in if you uh, go to your person ask them like yeah how yeah, can I yeah. Love you? ask them or just rather than ask tell them how you want to be loved as well because sometimes yeah no but I, I feel like asking them first yeah. makes them feel a bit more special and makes them feel a bit more respect receptive in wanting to love you too because when you go into the conversation saying I, 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 I sometimes other person's like it's not all about, about you, you. Yeah, yeah, so if you go in it's, like, it's a two people thing see, well, how can I love you no no don't do that to me but yeah no I'm not asking you I'm okay. saying this is how someone would go <laughs> <laughs> but like how can I love you and be like okay cool and you, now you have to hope they'll ask you back yeah, some yeah, people yeah, won't yeah, ask you back it's all about me you started with me so finish with me <laughs> so what have you seen this week you got something? It's on my phone. Everything is on your phone. I told you to airdrop it to me. But um, time. Uh, so in terms of this week, I saw if it loads. Uh, a little prayer for bedtime. It goes as you rest tonight. Remember that God is with you. His presence surrounds you, offering peace and rest for you. Weary heart, lay down your worries and but. Burdens at his feet, trusting that tomorrow is, is is in his hands. Rest in his unfailing love, knowing that he watches over you and provides comfort and strength for every new day. Let his peace fill your soul and sleep with the assurance that you are held in his loving arms. Amen. Amen. But yeah, yeah, we had some technical difficulties today, so yeah. that's why this this episode feels a bit rushed. Yeah. Um things i don't know if you've got a studio out there <laughs> not to say this ain't the greatest but sometimes we do feel it's a time bit, to move on yeah but yeah this done but us yeah. justice so yeah short one today yeah mm-hmm. it's been it's been your host with the most me and sophia and yours to you love and guidance we are